Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we finally made it up north again. It's starting to warm up, warm up a little bit up here. It's in the uh, 50s today. Should break 50. You can see there's still some snow on the ground. You can see the river over there, or at least I think you can see it. It's still got snow on it, but it's open and running. But the reason I came up here this weekend was to uh, replace one of the security cameras I have up here. This is the old camera that I had installed that has stopped working on me. I th and it stopped working probably midwinter. I think the I think the cold finally got to it. It was just some cheap uh, camera I bought online. I don't even remember where I bought it from. Probably Amazon. It says it's a IP66. It worked for probably about a year and a half, but uh, I think the cold weather finally got to it and it stopped working on me. So I went and I picked up a different camera. This one I also bought online. Um, this one is a professional camera though. This is an Axis 1436, I believe. I'll have to go look at the exact version of it or I'll put it in the description down below. But this is a professional camera and this is rated up to uh, handle negative 40 degrees Celsius. So I don't think it'll have any problems up here dealing with the cold. I think it'll last for a very, very long time. I paid, you know, a lot more money for this camera than I did for this one. This one was really cheap. This one's really expensive, but I think this one's gonna be a much better camera up here. It's gonna do a much better job during the winter time. Cold won't get to it. So I've started to change out the box up here where it goes. I've got the box kind of installed. I need to go ahead and get the rest of it done. I'll let you guys watch that and we'll get this thing hooked up and running. So here's the base that I've already screwed in there. And so there's a plate underneath that that you screw in and then you screw these four screws into that plate and that holds it in place here. So that holds it securely against the roof of the house. And then for the other piece of it that just, for this other, and then for the rest of it, it just clamps into there right in this spot and you'll screw it into place. Obviously we need to plug it in first. Uh, this camera gets its power over the ethernet cord, so it's PoE. And to adjust it, you just have to use this one screw on the back that you loosen out and you can adjust the camera whichever position you want it in. And then you tighten that one screw back up. I've already done that, so I don't need to readjust it. I basically just need to plug in the ethernet cord to it, plug it up into the socket and uh, then we'll have to do some configuration inside of the software that I use for the security system. I won't make you guys watch that part of it. Pretty super simple to do. Hardest part was getting this wire through that hole and getting this hooked into there. The rest of this should go really simple. So all we need to do is plug in the ethernet cord to it. It's got a little light right here on it That's, that has turned red on me. Let it power up. Wait till it turns green. It should be green here in a second. It's also got this little latch here we can latch onto this. That'll keep it from accidentally falling. Our light is green now, so it just plugs right into place there. And then it uses uh, a Torx security screws. So you need a Torx security screwdriver to screw this back into place. So it's just these four screws that you have to screw back in place here. And then there's these screws in the back right here. That screw right into there. That one's on there. Then we have one on this side. Let's see if I 
can do it left-handed so I can hold the camera too. So that's all the screws on it. Make sure they're all tight. All the screws are tight. So there's, there's the camera in place. There it is on my cell phone. I don't know if you can actually see it on the cell phone, but there's the view of the camera from the cell phone. So it's pretty much watching this whole area. The only thing left to do will be to go inside and make some configuration changes on the software that I use so that it'll, it'll watch motion. It'll start recording when it sees motion, so it'll be motion uh, operated. It is got an infrared light on it so it can see in dark. It says, it says up to 131 feet, which should be plenty to see all the way over there in the nighttime. I think I'll be super happy with it. Like I said, it's a professional camera. It's not uh, some cheap model you could buy off the internet from some other place. So I'll let you guys know in the future how it's working out. I want to thank everybody for watching. Be sure and like this video, give me some comments, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We'd love to have you, and we'll see you guys next time.